look at you back on my channel just like i knew you would be hi <laughs> So I've been getting a lot of questions pertaining to everyone is you pushed out and I just want to talk about that more and go more in depth about that. What does everyone is you pushed out mean? Everyone is you pushed out means that the dominant version that you hold of that specific person doesn't matter if it's a relationship, doesn't matter if it's a friendship, doesn't matter if it's a family, whoever it is. The version of that person that you see is the version of that person that you keep experiencing. So for example, Let's say your specific person isn't interacting with you in the way that you want, but your thoughts about your specific person are, oh, well, you know what? They're just never gonna be into me. Me, my specific person, we have never been romantic. My specific person, I just can't see them liking me. Um, I can't see them being into me. I can't see them being intimate with me. I can't see them wanting me. That is why you keep manifesting and interacting with a version of them that is giving you exactly that. The concept of everyone as you pushed out is as simple as this. It's your thoughts are being mirrored through other people outside of you. Your expectations, your projections, and your assumptions are being mirrored back to you. You're thinking about someone, you're thinking about them in a the negative light, and all they're doing is reflecting the exact thoughts that you're having about them to you. So it's kind of a slap in the face or it could be really positive and enjoyable. With that being said, everyone as you pushed out does not mean that the people in your life are robots, okay? If you watch Sammy Ingram's channel, you know what I'm talking about. It does not mean that you should go in your reality and start manipulating people into um, doing exactly what you want immediately as you say it, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't think that it should be anything manipulative, meaning, and when I say that, let me go more in depth about this because I feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but I really wanna make myself clear and precise as to what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is yes, that you can experience exactly the version of a person that you desire and that you want and you deserve, but don't expect it to be so, uh, 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 uh. you get what I'm saying? People are not robots and they're not to be puppeteered. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? So it's going to take some time, just like in general, with the law of assumption in general, as we know, this takes repetition, okay? So it's going to take you unlearning what your preconceived notions and thoughts were about this person initially and shifting them into a positive point of view. And this is why this all goes back to self-concept. This all goes back to affirming. This all goes back, it's all continuous work that you have to, to make the choice to do. You get what I'm saying? Because if you don't have a good self-concept, if you don't have a good self-concept, if you don't have a good self-concept and you want to change somebody and you jump straight into everyone as you pushed out and this person in your reality that you know of right now in this present moment is treating you in a way that you don't deserve. If your self-concept isn't good and you're jumping straight to doing everyone as you pushed out because you want this one specific person to do something for you, it's not going to go well. It's not going to go well because you're not even working on yourself internally to realize what you deserve. You're going to get too caught up in the 3D because the minute that that person does something that you don't like, boom, you're back in a vicious cycle. You're back where you began. You're right back where you started. Because you haven't done the work internally. You haven't done the work on your subconscious. You haven't done the work on yourself. You know what I mean? So that is why it is so important to work on your self-concept. It is so important to stick to your affirmations, to do your mental diet, because it's all collectively, it's gonna work. It's all, it, they're friends, they're friends, okay? They're family members, they're cousins. Boom, 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 boom. You have to incorporate all of it, no shortcuts, because you will manifest your specific person. I'm not saying that, listen, I'm not saying that if you don't work on self-concept, you won't manifest your specific person. I'm not saying that if you don't work on your mental diet, you won't manifest your specific person. You will. You will. You will manifest short-lived interactions with your specific person and you won't be able to sustain the manifestation that you want so badly because you're not realizing that this is all about you. You're the one on the pedestal, okay? Nobody else. When you're jumping for crumbs, <laughs> you jump up for crumbs. You jump up for crumbs. You just, oh, 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 I need, I want, I need, I, no, no. 
what, what do we what do we already know to be true what we already know to be true is that anything that we want in our reality is already ours so all we're doing with mental diet self-concept and affirming is aligning and reiterating which we already know we are just getting our reality to line up with what we already know to be true we already know it here we already know it here we already know so now we are just getting our reality to shift in alignment with the things that we already know okay when it comes to everyone as you pushed out it is important. I'm sorry, my mama sneezed. <laughs> it is important to not react to what? To what? To what? The 3D. The 3D! Okay? It's important not to react to the 3D! Don't react to the 3D! Because your person is shifting. Your person is shifting behind the scenes in ways in which you don't even know about. And you're going crazy. Why? Why are you losing your mind? Why are you going crazy? Yo, Joseph isn't tempting me. Christopher isn't talking to me. How do you know that Joseph isn't thinking about you right now? How do you know that Christopher didn't just pick up his phone and just deleted the text just because he felt like he wasn't quite ready yet? There are things going on behind the scenes that you don't even know about. And so I don't care if your specific person hasn't talked to you in three years. If you're doing everyone is pushed out and you're working on your mental diet and you're doing self-concept and you are affirming, he's gonna. Okay? Sally Mae is gonna hit you up. I promise. I wouldn't lie to you. I would not lie to you. <laughs> I promise y'all. I wouldn't lie to you, okay? Persist. And the thought in which you want to mirror in your reality. Because if you keep reverting back to, oh, they're not doing what I want. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I didn't tell. No, 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 no. You're, you're paying too much attention to the 3D. Okay? And that's why you see a little bit of movement and then nothing. And then a little bit of movement and then nothing. And a little bit of movement and then it's not a fun rotation or cycle to be caught up in. This is your reality. You have the choice. You want everyone in your reality to treat you like a queen. Everyone in my reality treats me so well. Everyone in my reality treats me like a goddess. Everyone in my reality treats me like a princess. Everyone in my reality treats me like royalty. I have never had to beg for attention in my life. I don't ever have to beg for anything from anyone. People just want to give me things. People just want to shower me in love. Oh, your SP. I don't want to talk to you no more. You know, I, you know, it's so funny, SP. It's so funny, SP, that you just texted me and told me that I'm the love of your life. Because actually, little did you know, SP, I already knew that. <laughs> I already knew that, SP. <laughs> I bet you didn't know that I already knew that, SP. I bet you didn't know. <laughs> I already knew that, bestie. Take your attention off of the 3D and go within, okay? Because it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's already yours and it's gonna happen. Everyone is you pushed out. How do you feel about yourself? Ask yourself that question right now. How do you feel about yourself? And I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm asking for the nitty gritty. I'm asking for the nitty gritty. And I'm asking from the Ruta to the Tuta. How do you genuinely feel about yourself and your space and people's lives? How do you genuinely feel about yourself in totality as a person taking up space in this universe? If your answer is anything less than great and outstanding and well-loved and well-received and wanted and needed and craved, you have to work on your self-concept. You have to work on your self-concept because you're feeling that way about yourself. And since everyone is you pushed out, it's a concept that is always applied and never dissipates and never goes away. If you're feeling that way about yourself, your outside reality the people in it are only going to reflect that back to you, okay? And that's why you can't sustain that relationship. And that's why you can't manifest that SP. And that's why you can't manifest that job offer because you don't feel worthy. And you have to bring the focus back to you always. It's everyone is you pushed out. Everything is you pushed out. You, you, you see how it all always comes back to self? 
Law of assumption and this kind of work, it all revolves around oneself. It always comes back to you and that is why it's important to take these people and take these things and take any manifestation in general, no matter what part of your life that it applies to, finances, love, career, success, whatever it is, whatever it is, you have to take it off the pedestal. And you have to allow yourself to understand that it wants you just as much as you want it. And that is the whole name of the game. It's about you. You're the regal one. You're the royal one. You are the one that matters. They're, they're jumping and grabbing for you. It's jumping and grabbing for you. Your, your manifestation is jumping and grabbing for you, not the other way around, okay? It's making its way to you. You are not making your way to it. And that's kind of why I feel like that specific affirmation, the one about like, I don't chase, I attract, is really popular right now. I'll talk about that another day because that's like another thing I want to unpack. But for right now, we're talking about everyone as you pushed out, okay? Take him off the pedestal. Take Jeffrey off the pedestal, okay? You're the prize. You're the prize. You're the one with this knowledge. Jeffrey don't know shit about this. Jeffrey doesn't know it. <laughs> like, I pro he's clueless. He's lost. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Now, if you are interested in coaching, I am currently working on my website and I am building it right now as we speak. And I hope to have it done within the next two to three weeks. But for right now, email me. Okay, we will talk rates. I'm very affordable. I promise I will give you a lesson plan after the call and we will get it worked out. That's so beautiful. Oh, wait, let me get y'all. Hold on, let me get y'all a hair cameo. It's just like in day. I can feel it when you are, even when you talk. Okay, if you need me, you know where to find me. My social media is linked below, my email is also below. And until next time. You know the drill. And you know that I love you. 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 I love you.